Hello everyone, welcome to Info Picks. I am Drunk Farmer, and by the way, Merry Christmas to Cleveland! <laughs> Cleveland, you rock! You sneaky little devils, you! Oh, if you haven't heard, or you've heard, it's been all over the, the news, it's been everywhere if you follow sports. The Cleveland Browns won the Deshaun Watson lottery! I know, I was shocked! I didn't think Deshaun Watson was going to go to Cleveland. I thought, and a lot of other people thought, he was going to Atlanta. I didn't think he was going to go to New Orleans. I think he was going to go to Atlanta, you know, because he, he's from Atlanta, and, you know, he probably, probably said, yeah, I'm going to play for the Atlanta Falcons. But no, he said no. He said, no, I'm going to Cleveland. Cleveland offered him a five-year deal for $230 million guaranteed money. Atlanta couldn't do it. The Saints couldn't do that. And Carolina couldn't do that. And that's why Deshaun Watson is going to Cleveland. Because none of those three teams could have done that. I am... I thought... I literally, I did. I thought that I was like... I was... Kind of like, wait, what? I thought that was fake news. Honestly, I thought it was just a bunch of BS. Until I got into my sources and no, it wasn't. It was straight up true. Wow, I didn't see this coming. I did not see this coming at all. And I don't think a lot of other people didn't see it coming either, to tell you the honest truth. Was it a good move for Cleveland? Yes. I think it was a good move for Cleveland. These guys want to get back playing good football. They have a good football team. They got a great running back in Chubb. Uh, they got a little bit of help in the wide receiver department earlier this week with Amani Cooper from Dallas. So Deshaun Watson's got a weapon. Um, yeah, I think it was, honestly, I did. I, I really do. I think it was a good move for Cleveland. Um, as for Baker Mayfield, he didn't really, I mean, he, he just, just didn't do a lot in Cleveland for four years. Yeah, he took him to a playoff, but just just couldn't get him over the hump. So for Baker Mayfield, that's the other elephant in the room. Um, where's he may may be going? Some are speculating. This is all speculation. Um I don't, like I said, I don't think he's going to be a Cleveland Brown much longer. I think he got his wish. And I bet he's dancing somewhere, too. Um, scenarios, I got a couple of them. A lot of people have probably same, share the same scenarios as I do. Um, possibly, he may get washed up in the Deshaun Watson thing. He may go to Houston. That's one scenario. Um, another scenario, Baker Mayfield may end up, and that's probably the most logical scenario, I think. And a lot of other people think the same thing, that he'll end up in Indianapolis. That might be a good fit. Besides, Indianapolis doesn't really have a quarterback. So I think that's going to be the logical move. And I think Baker may be looking at Indianapolis because Indianapolis has money to spend. So we'll see how that turns out. Probably by next week, we'll probably find out where Baker Mayfield's destiny will go. Where will his destiny take him? Will Baker Mayfield find a new home in the NFL? These questions and more will try to be answered by next week. <laughs> so, until then, I am Drunk Farmer. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. If you got a comment about the show tonight leave a comment below um i don't i don't care what you guys leave just leave a comment so until then i am drunk farmer if anything else comes up over the weekend i will be back for sure but until then i will see you when i see you and this has been nfl picks and i have been drunk farmer and i'm out of here and i'm gonna go watch some tv